Assassin's Creed Shadow Early Access officially cancelled. And the Collector's Edition price has dropped by 50 bucks. Um, this game... <laughs> Uh, stop getting uh, bad news stop stop getting bad like uh, i want to hear something good about this so ubisoft has canceled the early access perk that was originally included with assassin's creed shadows collector's edition this decision comes amidst delays and changes upon the game's release so the to compensate for the removal of early access ubisoft has re reduced the price of the collector's edition by 50 bucks in addition to the delay and early access cancellation ubisoft has reportedly scrapped plans for a traditional seasons pass for assassin's creed shadow this might indicate a shift in their post-launch content strategy uh so let's give it up to mr spg uh because i know he's he's ripping and raring to talk about some assassin's creed but uh, do you think this game can take any more bad news? And what's the future uh, of Ubisoft? Do listen, you think this game will ever be released? Luby, before before Ubisoft. you unwind your coil, SPG, I'm dipping off, boys. It was great being here. Thank you for having me. Have a good rest of your day and rest of your show and rest of your weeks. Bye-bye. Later, David. Take care, Wilson. Enjoy the pasta. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Toss it over your shoulder. Um... <laughs> So look, man, Ubisoft, oh, uh, who can do that? Who, who <laughs> I just had a Freudian slip and called them Lubisoft, but Ubisoft, um, they're they're afloat in the ocean, man, and they have a slight cut, and the sharks are circling. Okay, like for the company themselves, man, it's not looking good. Uh, but the shift in their focus here has everything to do with Star Wars. People paid $17 to beat Star Wars in less than a month and exit out of their ecosystem, okay? So they saw a huge failure there as in like game sales go because I, I do believe a lot of people did that. Not a lot of people uh, kept their subscription going. Uh, they wanted to do it with Shadow with uh, Assassin's Creed. They wanted people to uh, start their subscription for Star Wars, stick around for Assassin's Creed, and all the updates they were going to give that. But uh, obviously, it's not in the cards for them to make money doing that. It's their version of like Game Pass in a sense, and I think that it it failed this time around, especially for Star Wars. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, they are bleeding in the ocean and sharks are circling. Even people within their own company are bailing and and talking and having strikes. And, and th there's so much involved in Ubisoft. Uh, and they are a huge, huge developer. Like, one of the biggest. So I don't want to see any uh, developer fail, necessarily. I don't want to see any game fail. But I do want the industry to learn some lessons and to take them to heart moving forward. And that isn't happening. Yeah. Um, it is a little bit rocky. What will the future be? Um, Vet, our resident Ubisoft and Bat... Oh, I see you're on mute. I'll give you a second here in case you want to say something on it. Nope. All right. Ray, um, yeah. anything to to add? What do you think the future of Assassin's Creed Shadows will be? Um, and do you think Ubisoft will ever release this game? What's happening here? Um, it, It's going to... I, I do think the game is going to come out, but I think we're going to probably see another Mirage, another Star Wars as far as fan is how they feel about the game um usually something like this man it starts all the way from the top i think and i love i've been a ubisoft i still have my ubisoft account i still have faith in them but i really wish they would just sell <laughs> just go on and sell and and join a bigger organization or something and and have some people come in and help help them out because it seems like something's wrong with management and uh then I don't want to see Ubisoft fail, just like uh, SPG says. Um, sell, sell Ubisoft, go sell. Good ten cent, apparently. Um, I we'll hope. See. I Dor wish. Dorgon, uh, I know you're an Ubisoft uh, or Assassin's Creed uh, fan. Um, any insight into what's going on here? Um, any sort of analysis on this that you want to share? 
Uh, obviously, Shadows has taken hit after hit in the media. I think they need something good to come their way. Shadows will not be the good thing to come their way. Uh, this delay is not going to fix the undeniable wrongs that Shadows is performing. It's not an Assassin's Creed game in the vein that Assassin's Creed fans want. And the problem when you're not making a game that your fans want is those fans are not going to buy the game. It's why collector's editions now have less within them from Ubisoft, but cost three times as more. Even with that 50 euro price cut here in Europe, that collector's edition is still 250 euros. I have got most of the collector's editions for Assassin's Creed. The Valhalla one cost me a hundred pounds and it came with so much more in the box than what Shadows is offering. They've stolen artwork, they've stolen likenesses, they've been culturally and racially insensitive, which is something that this series is not known for. They are known for being historically accurate and culturally sensitive. They have improved tourism in the likes of Italy and Greece with their releases. This game is a product of Ubisoft as a whole, and it's a product of the last 10 years of operation. The Guillemot family run it like a business. You can't run arts like a business. I know they go hand in hand when it comes to video games. You need to sell these games to make the next one. But when you're trying to make a game that speaks to this wide generic audience, yes, you might get initial sales, but then people are getting the money back by taking it back to the store because it's a generic, boring game. They had 20 million players of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and most of those were through Ubisoft Plus because they could, as SPG was saying, pay 17 bucks, 17 pounds, which, by the way, is more expensive than Game Pass Ultimate here in the UK, and just play the game for a month and then sod off again. So they're not getting sales for that game, so they're having to do it in player numbers or measure success in time spent in-game. Ubisoft are one of the biggest developers on the planet. They still have 19,000 employees, but their market value as of this week is $1.3 billion. Just to put this in perspective, Bungie, a single studio, was bought by PlayStation two years ago for $3 billion. That is how bad the Ubisoft situation is. You could take 32 development studios under your wing for half the price of Bungie. It's a terrible situation, and as others have said, it comes from the top. You need to change the leadership, you need to change the ethos, you need to change how they're making games. You need to start going back into niches. Yeah, like what, uh, just to touch on something Dorgon was just saying, this isn't necessarily a Ubisoft problem, it's an industry problem. You cater to the fans you have, not to the ones you want. Because if you cater to the ones you want, you're not going to satisfy the ones you already got and people will flake off. You, you really have to figure this out. It's, I'm not saying it's easy. Uh, there's a lot of money at stake, but something's got to change. I, th I think the biggest issue is, is the Ubisoft fatigue more than anything. I think a lot of people are tired of playing the same games over and over again. I think that's the biggest issue. And... Um, I mean, while, like, I will say, like, Valhalla, I believe, was their most successful game in terms of, like, revenue, um, I, I, I think that they need to change and need to do something different. And that is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Great game. That was something different, but then they closed the studio that made it because it didn't sell 10 million. Just like they did They've with... closed the Prince of Persia studio yeah. because it didn't sell 10 million, even though it's one of the best games of the year. Well, um, let's just say none of us are going to fix Ubisoft, so uh, good luck without us, because you're going to need it. And Dorgon, I said, keys, I'll fix it. I said Ubisoft <laughs> needed good news, and then you just rained a bunch of bad news, so, yeah. <laughs>